especially women who date rappers, do you listen to the lyrical content before you get into relationships? Wait, wait, wait. No. You judge you judge based off the lyrical content though? Like, I would. I, I would. would. Yeah. Yes. What he be rapping about? I ain't what what is a Playboy Cardi perfect, like? If he's song? rapping about anything satanic, I would never procreate with him. <laughs> I wouldn't even lay down with him. That's, Look at him. Look at him. Oh, First of all, does, second of wait, all, does he have fangs in Second his mouth? of all, as a woman, you don't listen to future's lyrics and think that any of that applies to his real life. Ain't oh, no way. Ain't, ain't no, no fucking, ain't no fucking way. way. Like um, if I if I cheat her, I ain't gonna, if I cheat on her, I ain't gonna say sorry. He blatantly says, future blatantly says, I'm gonna cheat on her and not say sorry. Like he's dead ass. That's cool. He's on brand. He's committed to him to his 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 movement. Live your life. Sometimes you really have to realize that these things are on brand. This is not just the artist. I will say, art does the imitate part, life the and part, life imitates the art. The part that upsets me the most about this is not. Well, first of all, I want to pray for Iggy Azalea's emotional stability because clearly... Yeah. This, oh, it's been like four days straight This now. This rant talking about she kept her pregnancy hidden to support... No, ma'am. You kept that pregnancy first hidden because you were First of all, is she not a bigger artist? Real quick, no, let me ask both of y'all. Is I she a bigger artist than Playboy Cardi? Yes. She yeah. is. As an artist, no. As no? a celebrity, yes. Really? Okay, wait. Com- wait, wait. Can what's the Can somebody tell me one Iggy Azalea song? I'm so fancy. You ready? And she got the other one. And she got the can other one with the sugar me, daddy. Can somebody wait. tell me a Playboy Cardi song? I want more private out shit with Ariana. Wait, what's a Playboy Cardi song? What's a Playboy Cardi song? We don't know, right? We don't know. All <laughs> Satan, right. Satan, Satan, Satan. All right. I love you. <laughs> so what's reason, a Playboy Cardi song? Is there a big one? I don't know one. Future with I don't Drake? Know, I don't know any Playboy Cardi I don't know Cardi a Playboy songs. Cardi song. What I will say is Playboy Cardi's demo, his fan base, is a lot more, like you said, cult-like and a lot more subscribed to his musical content. Okay. Iggy Azalea, as a celebrity, has a bigger fan base as a that. celebrity, mm. less as an artist. Maybe not even that's a fan not base. To shade her. I would she's say had, just notoriety. She's a, Right, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Celebrity. Celebrity is notoriety. Okay. Okay. That's all. It's not It's not because she's an artist. It's because she's a celebrity. We, people know her because she's this beautiful, androgynous, you know, Australian... Ex, ex, I'm going to just use exotic in quotes because she's white and blonde. She's the only so white woman crazy. I would... She, she but nice. But she also... I mean, she also... It's, a, it's, a, it's another bought body, but I guess that's the, that's the name of the game in, in, fem, in, a, in female hip-hop for a lot of these young women. So it is what it is. But um, no, she... The, I, I want to pray for her mental stability because I yeah. really think her mental and emotional stability because this to go on this type of rant after we haven't heard anything worthwhile musically from her in a very long time. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, you're right. I'm serious. Like the last record that I thought she, that was great was the the joint that she did with Rita. Rita Ora. See, and oh yes, I like yeah. the one where black, she had the black, black, black widow. Baby. Baby. Boop, yeah, boop, boop, that was a oh, fire black widow. Record. Yeah, no black that widow. That's the one I did record. like. I'm good. Where she had the sugar. She had the sugar. Sugar daddy. A music video. She did a record with J Lo. Like a black widow, baby. She had a record yeah. with J Lo. Big, big booty. Oh, you got a oh, big yes. booty. That was that in video every. Was fire. That was in every Soul Cycle class for about a year. Yes. So shout out to them for that because it's a fire ass video. Except natural, natural booties win. Shout out to J Lo. Anyway, um, neither here nor there. What I will say is for for women, my 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 sympathy is really more so for the kid than it is for either one of these people because y'all are adults, y'all are grown, and all this other shit about well, you know, I want that, I want to, I want to be with my, I want to be with you know with this man, and he told me that he was gonna. This is this is like the conversation that we have all the time about women having children with these men. And they're not good dads already. But they're not or good. They're not, they're not good partners. But here's the thing: you can be a good dad and not be a good partner. He has As not been. Woman, he has not been either. I feel you. What I'm saying is, from a from you don't for, know that you don't from a she's, for a woman. She's, she's let us know, and even even when from her point of view, no, she's she posted screenshot text messages for a where woman. she sent a picture of her son, and he was like, "Oh, cute! I can't wait to rub on your booty." Like, nigga, <laughs> he straight up wanting to have sex with you and you trying to share, like, like she's she's posted screenshots and that's the thing, like, the, the, the problem is, too, we allow the manipulation of men to go by, okay, you treat us completely like shit, you disrespect us, I don't even, and then all a nigga got to do is say, I want to rub on your booty, ooh, I can't wait to I see you, even, and now it's, it's... I don't even think it's manipulation sometimes. I don't, I don't I think either. I think a lot of times these men are showing women who they are, and women are choosing ooh, not to see it. Ooh. And I, I can, and I, I will say that from personal Satan. experience. It's like, 
You have to you have to stop t- to some degree, right? It's tough because I think I think there's a fine line between taking somebody's word and taking their behavior. What do you take more? What do you, both of y'all take more? I take consistency. Mm. Whether it's consistency yeah. in your word or consistency in your behavior, ideally it should match. But if what you're telling me, Matt, if what you're telling me consistently is who you are consistently, that's what I'm taking. If a man tells you he doesn't want to be in a relationship, he doesn't want a commitment, mm. he doesn't want a commitment, he doesn't want a commitment, he doesn't want a commitment, he doesn't want a commitment. If he's giving you a fucking baby, he told you he didn't want a commitment. So that <laughs> this means. This nigga said, he's so handsome. I miss rubbing on your I butt. I told you. <laughs> She sent a whole picture of the baby. But I'm crazy. But I'm but I'm crazy. Yes, bitch, you're crazy. 